What's going on everyone? It's Brody back in with another tennis question and today's tennis topic is going to be about tennis shoes and why it may feel like that your foot is actually hurting when you have them on. Now there can be a couple of different reasons for this but one of the most common ones especially if you've never played tennis before and you're looking to get an actual tennis shoe is that your foot is not used to how tight that thing is going to be. Actual tennis shoes are a lot tighter than normal everyday regular sneakers or just any other type of shoe you would wear almost because they have to lock your foot and ankle into place to help prevent you from rolling over when you're moving side to side, up and down, or across the court diagonally. This allows the shoe to not only keep you safe, but it has to also make sure that your foot has enough cushion to it to be protected. If you aren't used to this style of shoe, however, you're gonna feel like the shoe is trying to crush you and it's gonna be really tight on your foot and you don't know why and it just feels uncomfortable. So with that, you really wanna go ahead and make sure that you know that each shoe that you try on, yes, of course, they're gonna have a different fit because of each brand is different. However, if it's your first time in a actual tennis shoe, they're going to feel tight no matter what. So go ahead, try on a couple of different brands and see which ones you think actually fit the best. Whereas the tightness is not, I'll say killing your foot to where if the shoe is so tight that you feel it is pressing down onto your foot for a lot more than it, you think is actually necessary, there's gonna be a little bit because it's trying to lock your foot into place. but if you think it's more than necessary and it actually hurts before you even get onto the court, it, you should probably look for a different shoe. Now, another reason why the tennis shoes that you're wearing, it may be causing your foot to have pain is that you've had these tennis shoes for a long time and you've wore them, you've played in them, you've done a lot of things in them. The cushion's probably worn down or gone bad by now. I don't know you, some people can go through shoes in a matter of two weeks. Some people can go through shoes in a matter of two years. There's a wide spectrum between how long a shoe lasts, lasts a specific person. So you really have to figure out how hard are you on your shoes? Do you go through shoes every two weeks by putting holes in them? Do you just wear them so much that you break down the inside material that is actually helping cushion your foot or do you are you not as hard on your shoes and you can make them last a little bit longer so that you can save a little bit more money maybe not play as often but you save a bit more money because your shoes will continue to go and just actually make it to where your foot isn't hurting because the cushion is staying alive essentially now you can and also one way to remedy this is to get an insert there are, you can go to a lot of running stores actually and get specific inserts tailored to your foot. Almost almost any type of insert that you use, it will be able to fit inside of a tennis shoe and the insoles of the tennis shoes are really easy to take out. I've taken out, you can usually get these out in like a few seconds. Sometimes other shoes will have the soles taped or glued to the bottom and they're just a hassle to try and get out, but with tennis shoes in specific, almost a good, I would say a good majority of them are gonna have it to where the insole of the shoe can come out easily because they know that people need to put their inserts in to make the shoe even more comfortable for them. So that's really the, a few of the main ways that the tennis shoes can actually be causing pain. Another one that just came to mind is the fact that you've just had the shoe on for too long. So as, as we play tennis and as we just do the physical exercise, the one thing that happens with our foot is that it technically does expand inside of the shoe. Now, if you're wearing a very narrow shoe, like a Nike shoe or an Asics, then that expansion of your foot can sometimes, well, let me rephrase, not expansion, the swelling of your foot can sometimes just brush against the inside of the toe box area in the shoe and cause some pain and discomfort from that. So you always wanna make sure that you give yourself ample time outside of the shoe after you used it so that your foot can recover 
and not be fully pressed in with a lot of the different pain that can come from just wearing the shoes for hours and hours and hours upon end. Now, if you've been wearing tennis specific shoes for a long time, you know that you can eventually find your sweet spot for how long you can keep a shoe in, whether you're playing in it or you're just wearing it out, wearing it out casually. I do that a lot just because I like how the shoes fit because I've worn them so often and it also helps me feel better knowing that I'm pr helping protect my ankles from anything rather than wearing a lighter weight shoe that has a bit more chance of me getting an injury. Now, with all of that being said, those are a few of the main ways that you can look to make sure and try and figure out why you're actually getting so much pain from your specific tennis shoes that you're wearing. I would also say that if it, the pain persists and you've been dealing with this for a long time, you should probably go and see the see your doctor, see what they say, get their expert opinion and what they believe is going on because it may not be the shoe's fault. It may be that there's something you don't know about going on within your body. And by going to the doctor and bringing that forward, you can then make sure that you take care of it so that you can get back and enjoy playing the game that we all love, tennis. All right. Now, with that being said, as always, if you like the video, leave a like on it. Comment down below any more questions you may have about tennis shoes. Subscribe to the channel so that we can grow this channel and get the information from the people who have it to the people who need it. There's a lot of tennis misinformation in the tennis community, and I took it upon myself to make this YouTube channel so that we could get rid of that. And, as always, take care.